Johnny, what were the thoughts of the performance of your team at Crawley? I thought it was an outstanding performance. Um, to, get, to come under the pressure that we did at, towards the end and see it through, obviously a man down. I thought the effort that the lads put in um, to a man was, was unbelievable. Um, and to get through a really, a really uh, difficult moment, to come through it was brilliant for us, huge, huge win. Um, I thought the performance for an hour was, was outstanding. I thought we uh, completely dominated the game, probably should have been further ahead than, than what we was. Um, and then obviously the sending off changes the, uh, the landscape a bit, doesn't it? And, and being a man down, it allowed them to grow into the game and they had, they had their moments. Uh, we had to defend really well. We had to make blocks, tackles, clearances, and we've done all of that, all the, all the, all the stuff that, that you need to do to, to win a game of football. So we, for an hour, the football side of it, the, our play was was brilliant. Uh, and then we showed another side to us in that last uh, half an hour, and, and we got the job done. So as it stands, you've got to make one change for the starting line because you're going to be without Joe Lewis, yeah? Yeah, Joe obviously picked up the two bookings. Uh, so it'll be, that's a game suspension for Joe. Uh, so obviously disappointing for him and, and for us, but um, Pierce came on in, in, in the game and, and, and done brilliantly. You know, he made some vital uh, clearances, headed clearances. He made a vital block towards the end um, and, and showed real leadership in, in, in the moments when we needed it. So we know we can rely on him uh, if he comes into the team. We know we can rely on others, and uh, yeah, obviously that'll be that'll be one enforced change. And we'll look at how the lads are today and how they've come out of it. Um, and we'll try and get a fresh team uh, as we can out there because obviously that would have taken a bit of a toll as well physically. Uh, having to play with 10 men sort of probably over half an hour in the end with all the added time and stuff. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how the boys are and uh, we'll pick a team that, that we think is going to go and win, win the game on Boxing Day. To focusing on Sutton, of course I think we've got to talk first of all about Matt Gray because you two go back a long way and he achieved an awful lot there, didn't he? He did, yeah, he done an outstanding job. Uh, in the time that he was there, obviously got into the football league I think, for the first time. So, um, go back a long way with Matt. We was we was apprentices together at Spurs many many moons ago. So, um, obviously, I was gutted for him when when that happened. And you know, it's always the same when you see colleagues uh, colleagues lose their job. But obviously, someone that, that I know well, um, you know, it's a little bit more poignant. So, um, disappointed for him for, for Matty, but I'm sure he'll be back in the game before before you know. So Jason Goodliff, of course, was in charge for the game against Mansfield. Wimbledon fans will know him very well indeed. So how are you expecting him to, to kind of set up for this one now? Probably not a whole lot different, to be honest. Um, obviously, Jason's been with Matt for a long time, so you know they'll, they'll both sort of be ingrained in the way that they want to do things, I'm sure. Obviously, we saw him uh, on Saturday against Mansfield, and um, they sort of set up a little bit differently to start, and then, and then sort of went back to um, what they have been doing. Uh, so we'll look, we'll look at that uh, a little bit closely, but we'll focus on us, Rob. You know, we got a, we're in such a good place. How we're playing, what we're doing. Uh, everyone knows their roles within the team, and um, we always we always show respect to the opposition. But um, it needs to be sort of the focus has got to be on us and, and continuing what we're doing and, and how we're playing and approaching with that energy and enthusiasm that that we have been. And uh, I think if we do that. You know, we, we, we feel like we can win any game. What kind of a session do you have today on Christmas Eve and what do you do on Christmas Day with regards to preparation? Yeah, so we, uh, we're we into obviously Christmas Eve, uh, a little bit of recovery, obviously still still close to the to the game the other night um, and like I say, we've taken uh, a lot out of them physically so um, the boys who like played a lot of minutes, it would be really, really light for them today. Um, the others will do a little bit more, we'll, we'll touch on some tactical stuff that we that we feel that we need to go through like we always do, um, and all the other boys are off Christmas Day. Uh, I think it's important that they spend that time with their families. But obviously, we you know set them set them some clear guidelines around what they can and can't do. But they know they're they're professionals. They're a very good group. Got no issues with that. Um, so we feel, we feel like it's the right thing to let them spend the time with their families. Um, but I know that they will be. They will be firing come three o'clock Boxing Day. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, what do the sports science department sort of step in and say? Right, can't touch this, can't have that. Curfew. What time you've got to go to bed? Those kind of things. No, nah, listen. They're all, you know, they're they're big enough and uh, ugly enough. Some yeah. of them to make yeah. their own decisions. You know, so um, we've highlighted. Listen, that's it's it's a big big game for us Boxing Day. 
we're in a great place. Um, we want to keep that momentum going. And the, the lads are saying always to themselves, don't doesn't even need to come from me at times. They're driving it. They're you know they know they know what they need to do. Um, yeah, so a lot of lay off the mince pies and the chocolates and the, and the wine um, and be ready for Boxing Day. But I've got no doubt about this group that they will. How much do you enjoy Boxing Day football and of course the atmosphere that we're going to have around Plough Lane for Derby? Yeah, I mean it's part of our tradition, isn't it? In, in England, um, obviously having played for, for a number of years and now and now coaching and managing, like it don't know any different. It's Boxing Day, you wake up and it's football. It's all about football. So. Uh, it's a bit different for me now on Christmas Day. I can indulge a little bit more than I ever used to, but um, still, the focus is Boxing Day. You know, we'll be, I'm sure I'll be um, watching watching Sutton on, when I get a moment on Christmas Day and doing my homework on them and making sure that we're completely prepped for for the Boxing Day. And then yeah, wake up Boxing Day, ready to go. Like that's fully focused on the football. It's great for the fans though, isn't it? They'd get out after Christmas Day, get down there and create a real atmosphere for us. Yeah, like I'm really pleased that we're at home Boxing Day. I think it's nice to have that fixture. Uh, big derby, big local derby, big crowd. Everyone's excited uh, to get down and watch us, I'm sure. And uh, obviously we're, we're, in a, we're in a good place as a team and we're on a good run at home. Uh, we want to keep that going and, and uh, I think I mean the crowd have played an unbelievably big role in that. You know the way that the way they're supporting us. Like the other night, at Crawley, incredible support behind the goal got us over the line. You know, without that, we, we might not get over the line. If we want to keep this run going on Boxing Day, um, we're going to need them as well. And you know, like, like they always do, I'm sure they'll be uh, getting right behind the boys, and the boys can feed off of that. A couple of young players I just wanted to talk about as well. I think we've, we've spoken about Josh Hallard in the past. Great to see him back out there joining in today. But young Marcel Campbell as well, he's tried to go out on loan to Corinthian Casuals, you're still working on, on getting him fit, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so Josh has been out a long time, so he's had some, some bad hamstring injuries, so we need to you know, be really uh, careful how we manage his return to play. But it's good that he joined in uh, with a group today, so we'll build him up and we'll see what the future holds for him as far as trying to get him some, some games, uh, look, look at the loan situation, try and get him some games. Same with young Marcel as well, yeah, he needs to be out playing games regularly. Um, obviously, you know he's not he's not in and around the first team, so it's important because we don't have uh, you know like a reserve team, a B team that we don't get an opportunity to get regular games to to these lads unless we have to utilize, utilize the the loan uh, market. So that's the number one that we'll be looking closely at. Just find as well, of course, um, when we had Casey McAtee, he had a he had a great time with us. Leicester face Ipswich, of course, on Boxing Day. You'd be dropping him a sort of quick Christmas New Year call, perhaps to find about January the sixth, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we'll be, yeah, we'll be, uh, I've kept in touch with Casey. I've kept, um, dropped him a few messages along the line. Like, great to see how well he's doing. Brilliant, brilliant player. Great lad. Great lad. Loved his time here. I know that. And uh, you know, it's, for us as a club and me as a, as a manager to have young lads who come in and do well for you and then watch them go on to bigger and better things, it's really rewarding. Um, you know, especially when they're such a such a lovely lad like like Casey. So, yeah, maybe I'll drop him a little message, see what see what he's got to say about Ipswich, and because we, you know, that'll be here before you know it, that that one, and we wanna to try and cause an upset, don't we? So, yeah, I'll be uh, dropping him a message. Happy Christmas, Gaffer. Happy Christmas, Rob. Cheers.